hey my babies good morning welcome back to our channel what's good okay so um if you are new here go ahead and like okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make you subscribe yet see if you like my personality i'm not gonna force that upon you but if you want to take the initiative to go ahead and subscribe go ahead and do that boo and i'm not gonna force you to comment right now but if you see something in here that you want to comment upon help your girl out get you know people coming over here and whatever and see that it's a party go ahead and do that as well but to my babies that are coming back thank you for supporting me i know the girl has been gone a lot but i just been doing a lot of things for self-care and that's not just like the physical like i've been focusing more on like my career in the military so i went to alc i graduated so alc is like advanced leadership course or whatever so it's like how you progress to the next level so at each level you want to progress to in the listed sector of the army like you have to go to a school first and then you know go to a board and all that well the board should come first but then you go to your school you promotable all that and then you get promoted so hopefully next month your girl will be a staff sergeant okay so i was trying to uh you know get my personal life my fa finances like you know get get some more money each year i feel like i should be getting more money you know we trying to where the money reside we going what a money reside what a money reside what a money reside what a money reside okay let me tell y'all something i'm doing something real big this month any deal that y'all got and they beating us i'm gonna be about 400 dollars. just give me your bin and the paper because i'm at what the what what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. Okay, I told y'all before, y'all know what I do. I give all these good deals and everything else. Y'all better ask about me because I do all that all at the time. And that's on who? Man had a little lamb. Okay? That's what we should. <laughs> Let me stop. I got high energy, y'all. Because I went to Starbucks and I picked up the ice almond milk honey. Something white. I don't know, but it's new. And I like it because it has like three shots of espresso. Two shots of vodka. I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around. Here, do you, bud? And then I'm about to go to the gym. We have a lot going on today. Let me move you guys. I'm sorry about the angles. I don't have that fancy, dancy camera holder. Hold on, put y'all over here. Boom! yes so yeah i'm just uh letting my caffeine settle a little bit and i'm gonna drink this up because i don't want to take this into the gym but don't the girl skill look <laughs> come on son what has made me happy today mm. okay so this coffee i've been listening to usher's essential on um apple so the essential music of my way nice and slow uh, love in this club okay there's a vibe okay it's a little old oh, nostalgic but it's a vibe anyway I want to propose this question to you guys cuz am I tripping so did I tell you what we're doing today you know what squirrel Good and smart master and he made me this color so that I may talk squirrel you know I can't stay on track. Hold on one second. Boom, boom. Back, back, back. So for today, what we're doing is... I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to shock it. Y'all probably see it in the title anyway. But anyway. So I want to propose this question to you. So you guys probably don't know. I, I don't... I'm not like vocal about it. But I got divorced. Okay. It's been like... To me, I think it's two years. But I'm not good with months and days. It might be less. might be more. But it's around by the time to you. So before I went to like Korea, that was the end of it. Like... Right. That was it. So that's all I'm gonna say about that because I really don't care. That's past, past, past. Feel me? Listen, the streets are calling my name. I'm going to the streets. Get some more. I'm going to the streets. The streets are calling my name. But I have this new idea of like marriage and relationships and stuff like that. I feel like a lot of people get married and they say, um, I get married for love now love is important respect is also important and you know partnership helping honesty all that stuff is important but i just be thinking to myself you cannot just get married for love i just because you know i've been married before so i'm just saying you can't because just like you like someone sometimes your love is not as strong 
at some points because you know the person might irritate you and you know or you might irritate them so they might just like liking someone like oh man i don't like you right now you can have less love for that person but i feel like the reason why people are together is because they coexist not necessarily because of love you know what i mean and i feel like this whole thing about men wanting things to be 50 50 and a woman saying like 50 50 50 okay just help me just help me just help me just hear me out i don't think i've talked enough shit in the past but if everything is 50 50 why am i marrying you like i'm not saying that it's all about finances but if we are a boyfriend and girlfriend right and we're living our lives together we love each other and we you know we're together or whatever what is the point of marriage if i can financially take care of myself i have my own car i have my you know i have my own business i have my own life i have my own career i mean i could take care of myself why would i marry you to split like double the bills you know we're not roommates <laughs> that's why i feel like when guys say that and and I'm i'm not trying to be funny but like can you call yourself the king of the house if if I'm paying all, if I'm paying the bills? Like I'm more of a traditional woman. Like I'm not saying like your man works super super hard and you spending his money on lashes and you know you know going out and you know you're not doing your part. Like you're not helping cleaning up. You're not you know. But I'm thinking like being in a relationship is not 50 50 especially from a female's point of view and maybe i'm not articulating this right and if you guys tear me up in the comments i'm okay with that i'm cool with that i want the conversation to be open i'm a person that i can agree to disagree i'm open i like intellectual conversation like i like us to vibe that way but i'm just thinking like it's not 50 50 because you don't have children i have children i mean i don't work tough jobs like probably like you like i'm not gonna be going to work lifting and and this that you know what there i'm gonna probably choose me personally i'm gonna choose me a more admin job something i can use my brain more i'm not gonna use my physical i mean i know i'm in the army but you know we we work out and stuff like that yeah but like my job as a load of station yes i may have to pick up a box or go to the ssa the warehouse or whatever to pick up material but i have help i have my soldiers you know this that and the third but right now you know i'm a battalion i'm working admin job i don't do too much lifting it's more like paperwork so i'm gonna pick a job like that you get what i'm saying like we're not the same and when i feel like men it's like i feel like sometimes you guys don't understand and i don't think you're doing it to be like facetious or you know men i'm talking about men but um facetious or whatever but sometimes i can understand how it is to be in a relationship and you're carrying the load is like too much for you guys it could be overbearing and i think you should do a better job at selecting the women that you're with um and as well women should do a better job at selecting the men that they're with but there's no way that i'm i just unless my husband is sick you know what i'm saying he get laid off from his job i know he supports me all the time like i'm not gonna be out there frivolous you know spending money or whatever but at the end of the day why why would i marry what is the why would i marry you what do i get i get you now without marriage you know what i mean that's kind of deep and i know like my aquarius side is coming out is logical like i'm more like a realist but after marriage i got kind of scared because you think about it like you got to change your name that's a lot because right now i'm still changing my name on certain things but like in the army i got my name back you know what i'm saying but uh yeah you got to change you got to change your name you have you become a part of that person's family like all my accolades it has like for the past like what four years it has like my previous husband like his uh his last name it's not even my family last name like you give up a lot you know what i'm saying like just think about as a man like if you gave up your last name like you'd be like oh no i'm not doing that that's your job like you know what i'm saying certain things or i feel I, I know the the world is different like we're changing we're evolving but in my little world and the way i want to live my life certain things are meant for men and certain things are meant for women like you don't want to change your name i want a man 
you know, who can pay some bills. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm just not going to be saving and, you know, helping out in the house or whatever, like, financially. But I feel like my money should be, like, a safety blanket, you know, for, like, okay, so, like, the internal stuff like i don't know but like we're not spending it we're like good we got that good cushion you know what i mean and my money is our buddy so like at the end of the day i still feel like you should be paying the bills at least the the mortgage and the electricities you utilities or whatever i said the electricities girl it's hot i can't think but tell me what you guys think i probably lost a couple of y'all but that's just my opinion you know women you know what i'm saying but they said i just feel like i don't know it's just like bragging like my man paid the bills period but i ain't gonna say it like that so <laughs> oh my laugh is so annoying but anyway we're gonna go to the gym and we're gonna get a little workout on okay or whatever i'm just um today's uh saturday so it's like my fun day at the gym so i just do whatever i want to usually this is like an active uh an active chill day but i'm gonna go to the gym so like active chill like i might go for a walk you know which usually turns into a run or like just you know be outside moving doing something cleaning up like just being active but not necessarily working out but yes okay let's go to the gym yeah <laughs> Yeah, I know I said that I was gonna take y'all to the gym with me, but it was kind of like packed and my gym is kind of small. I'll show you the building. Y'all see? So that's, it looks really big, but only that little section on the bottom floor is um the gym and it's very small. Like, they don't even have like changing rooms or anything like that. But the gyms here in um, Kansas, it's like, you have to have like a membership, but they're like, expensive there's not like a 25 dollar gym like you know everything is like 35 and above but i was like dang it's kind of pricey for you know what we get but it's okay because the gyms on post they close at 6 p.m so the only time i can like go to the gym on post is the weekends and also um during lunch time but sometimes during lunch you might work over shall yeah just fyi if you come to uh kansas or fort leavenworth or whatever but we're about to go and i'm gonna get me some fillers for my lifeline right here so sorry you guys seeing the white stuff that's sunscreen because you need that no matter if you're black or whatever or any other race you need sunscreen so yeah, it helps uh, get like rid of like dark spots or like make it so that the sun doesn't make your dark spots darker than your complexion. So you stay smooth, like the color that you are naturally born with. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And like I said, I'm gonna get fillers right here. Cause I was looking at my mom and my mom is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Um, she looks very young uh, for her age. However, I was saying like some things that I can prevent are like you know give me a little bit more time you know so i was like oh, let me get some right here i got it up here and now i don't get the squint right here you know but it's like little stuff like little natural stuff but i didn't take y'all with me to go get that so i'm about to go over there and i'm sweating like crazy bear with me and did i tell you guys why i didn't film in there i didn't film because it was small and it was like new people there like you know like people that are new to the gym and you know they're not as confident and i don't want to have my camera out and you know i don't want to they're already taking the chance to be here at the gym and you know probably not the most comfortable so i don't want them to feel more uncomfortable if they see like a camera pop out so i'll get y'all i should have a video with me and my one of my battles my male battles doing my workout <laughs> when i was in alc so it's like an old one but i should have that coming out this week too okay so you'll get a workout video yeah i just i want them to continue to come to the gym so i don't want to you know we'll get it another time i'm julie <laughs> <laughs>
I am a registered nurse, uh, advanced practice nurse. I'm a CRNA, meaning I do anesthesia. And I started an aesthetic business here in Leavenworth called Evie Aesthetics. Evie. And she's great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Evie is the Greek goddess of youth and immortality, if you're wondering where that name came from, because it's kind of strange. It's H-E-B-E. And we're going to get her social media down below um, so you guys can come check her out here in Leavenworth. And I'm going to show you guys what she does to me today, and she's going to explain it for you guys. That's where it is. Mm -hmm. And Radius has a high G prime, so it will give you the lift you're looking for. Something different, and you can say, well, I want this. So, like I said, what I'm going to do is kind of just pull all that up and give you more of a cheek like that. So, like, you're smiling all the time. Okay? Yeah. Because, you guys, I wanted um, this to fill in, and she showed me what that would look like. Crazy. So, she tries to help you, you know, not make mistakes. Okay? <laughs> Like. Yeah, show them what it looks Because I wanted this filled in, and she. this is what it's going to look like if I do that. Crazy. So, we're not going to do puff face. <laughs> we're going to stick to what the nurse says. <laughs> okay, you guys, so right now she's just adding some um, numbing. What is it? Numbing. It's lidocaine lidocaine to the syringe so that it won't burn the filler won't won't burn me so when editing this i wanted to go over uh, my choice of vernacular it, it's not so much of a burning um sensation is more of like a stinging so uh the lidocaine basically does uh, she mixes it with the filler and that's what you see her mixing it back and make sure it's blended correctly and then so when you initially feel the needle going um uh, being injected into your face it's not like that stinging um sensation that's what i meant by burning but more like a stinging and um it doesn't cause pain like it looks like it because it's a needle going into your face but it doesn't so she's just making sure she blends everything nicely and that's the filler and everything so she was telling me the good thing about uh, the fillers that it has calcium. I'm not going to try to say that word, but you guys see it. Yeah, hydro. Hydroxyapatite. Yeah, that. <laughs> appetite. Appetite, yeah, that. <laughs> so what does that do? So that is a collagen stimulator. And you can see down here, it's part of my things missing, but it, it stimulates type 1 collagen and type collagen type 1 collagen is mainly what your skin is made of. You have type 2 and type 3 also uh, that are bone and some other things, but type 1 is what you want for your skin. So it will help build and keep that tissue where it is with the filler, even when the filler has gone. Hey. She just told me some stuff. She got to tell y'all this. <laughs> so go ahead, tell them that. Okay. So that calcium hydroxyapatate, what it does is it builds that collagen. And as the hyaluronic acid from the filler dissolves, that collagen is being built. So the idea is that as one comes down, one is coming up. And you're going to have some change there from that building of collagen. And tell them how long it lasts. About 18 months. And compare it to other. That last nine to months to a year. See, okay. <laughs> it's like alcohol, but it's gentler on your skin and it actually gets rid of more, any bacteria and stuff like that so that we don't take it down under your skin. Okay. So we don't want that. It's always a risk, but. You guys, I can't watch. Do you see the difference already? I can see from that side. Yeah, it looks more pulled back and chiseled mm -hmm. compared to this one. It looks like a baby, a little round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you a little more volume up here mm -hmm. and just if you look, you can look in the mirror if you want, or you can see you need just a little right there. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. 
chisel. Now you can see your volume here. Mm -hmm. We need to help that there. There we go. Okay. I'll stick. Can y'all see the difference? I mean, because I see the difference. Alyssa, <laughs> you're looking good there. See the difference? I'm looking cheeky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can see how it's lifted here. Oh, my lips are actually to there. <laughs> my lips look parched. <laughs> <laughs> let me help you out. <laughs> you little Vaseline. Here, let me help you out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, help me out a little bit. Dry, Put that dusty. on your finger there. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it's a little dusty. Thank you. All right, you guys. So to the left is the after, and to the right is the before. Just chiseled. Guys, my face looks so good, but I just left there and i went to good old audis and i picked up some of my favorites i'm going to show you i picked up my favorites and also i picked me up some flowers so i'm going to show you guys because if you wait on somebody and get you some flowers you ain't gonna get no flowers because they're gonna be like they're gonna die anyway i don't care if they're gonna fucking die i want flowers so i got me some flowers i got me some at Audi's, y'all, for $3.99. And some, like, they look white, but you can see a little bit of pinkish. And I got my favorite things. This is chocolate covered um, bananas, real bananas. So when I want a sweet tooth, but I want to be healthy, no dairy, none of that, I get that. And then this is my favorite. It's sweet and salty and savory all at the same time. So I picked up two of these. And that's all I got. We're about to head home. My battery is dying. And I'll probably go to Whole Foods to go grocery shopping tomorrow or something like that. And we'll see what we're doing for the rest of the day. Okay. Hey y'all, so <laughs> it's been a couple of days, okay? So I'm about to end out this vlog, but I have a haul for you guys. I got me some Koi Australia glasses, but my friend got me these glasses and I'm super geek because like as an adult, you know, we don't, we don't really get any gifts, right? So I thought she was going to send me some of her glasses that she got that's just around the house or whatever. I met her in ALC. Shout out to Pulu. She a real one. I'm telling you, she's Samoan and she'll beat your ass. But anyway... <laughs> So she gave me a whole box. Look at this, girl. So I feel real rich. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you my, hold on. Let me put y'all up here because you know I'm geeking. Yes, the bears got a washer and dryer, y'all. I was shocked too. But look, I just got off a of PT. Bitch, period. I'm giving you rich. I'm giving you, I'm not driving anywhere. Chauffeur me, okay? I'm giving you a top Zoller. Okay, I'm feeling real good this morning after that brigade run. Like, P. Diddy in this bitch. Like, Puff Daddy. I'm, I'm, okay? So that's up here, right? But these, these, I'm gonna put these back on because I feel rich. So, and they come in these little packets. Like, this is so cute. You know, it's your color stuff. And then it was another pair, these ones I opened up and they were cute too. I was like, girl, she gave me four pair. Like I'm her child and she took care of me. Like I'm feeling really taken care of. Burr, it's cold in here. It must be some Toro in this atmosphere. I said, burr. Okay, girl, no she did. Yes, she did. I'm gonna open it up. My camera's about to die, so y'all bear with me. I might come back in three more days. I do need to get my hair done, but look. Okay. 
Okay. Come on, sunglass gods, period. Hold on, let me put y'all. Y'all, can y'all hold it? Girl, I gotta take out the trash. Well, I gotta take out the trash. Okay, you guys. This is the last hair. Girl. I'm not finna play with her, like. Cause what we not finna do, we not finna play, okay? We not, bro. I wish I didn't look like I just ran five miles when I'm trying these on because, man, I'm giving it. I'm giving you in the club. I'm giving you in the club with my sunshades on. And yes, I know I have sunshades on in the inside, but I'm so lit. I'm so drunkard at that point. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Burr. Okay. Okay. So let me take these off so I can be a regular, daggler, decent person. Because when you put these, ah! that's how I become you with these. <laughs> Okay. Okay. See normal. Normal, normal. Give me normal. Hi, how are you today? <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Pulu, for um sending me that girl. I really need it because you know I was down, you know, I just shy. I'm coming back to reality. I'm back at work. Okay, and every time we come back to work, it's just not it's not it. So I just want to say thank you. <sighs> Appreciate you. I'm telling you, army friends are like the best. Like, oh my goodness. But anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Seeing me get injected. I mean, this is a couple of days later. So you kind of see, I like normal. Like, you just do a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So you don't get wrinkled. Like, people, I'd be like, I'm 31. They'd be like, where? And I'd be like, right here. <laughs> okay, I'm giving you 31. I'm giving you the new 40, baby. Come through. But I'm not 40 yet. But I can't wait to get a 40. And I'll be like, people be like, oh, you're 40? I'm like, yes. 40, baby. This is what 40 look like. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for sticking by me. Because you know a girl don't be putting up the videos like that. But I don't be wanting to put up nothing if it ain't interesting. Like, my life is really, really boring. Like, right now I'm just focusing on real life. And not fake life. Meaning, like, social media and stuff. Okay. We're done. Because you could talk a lot. All right, bye, you guys. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. The choice is yours.